Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 28 of The Witcher. In the previous episode, we started off by dealing with the Wyverns, occupying Wyvern Island, which is just over here, so it looks like a bit of a question mark, and picked up a new sword for us, um, specifically we deal with humans, it's a new steel sword. Um, we spoke to the Brit makers, told them that the Lost Boy wasn't anything to do with the Druids, so uh, that's been dealt with. Uh, we returned to Vizima, where we handed in the letter from Yevin to Vivaldi, basically asking for recruits for a uh, supposed attack on the humans of Vizima, but, uh, Viz but uh, Vivaldi basically told him to do one, um, you know, just as he should. Um, we then tried to return to the Druid camp to give the information, but uh, he was at this non-human camp, which is where we are right now. But before we dealt with this, we picked up the five... Uh, what was it that we needed to pick up? I forget. They're Begatic Blossoms, that's the one. So we picked the five Begatic Blossoms, took them to the ferryman, and then gave the shirt to Yeren, and then got a new quest from him. Now, uh, something that I learned the hard way is that you cannot return to Vizima after you pick up that second quest from Yaren, otherwise it will, it will sort of glitch, but you will actually fail the quest because the Lumberjacks will all have been killed by these monsters that we've got to deal with. Uh, so I actually ended up, um, initially, first time, uh, returned to Vizima dealing with all my supplies and stuff like that. And then came back, then tried to do this episode, then realised I'd failed that quest. So I had to reboot the save button. I had actually saved over the one after picking up the quest. Um, obviously because I'd you know sorted out my supplies, I was in a better spot. So I had to redo basically the entirety of the last episode all over again, and do all my off-screen stuff before I picked up that second quest from Yaren. So, uh, but just to have a look at how we're doing in terms of that. Um, so this is the long way from home thing. Uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do in a moment. Uh, if we have a look at our inventory, I'm actually doing quite well now. So you can see how much money I've got now. Look how much I've cleared out of my um, ingredients. I basically was able to sell off a lot to uh, Kalkstein, because obviously he's an alchemist. He took basically almost everything. So sold everything that he bought. And with what I had left, I picked up my um, my alcohol bases from the innkeeper and managed to do myself some potions including four swallow potions which is definitely going to be useful but uh, yeah so we're basically in a much better position and this is all within the quest so I've not gone back since I picked up the second quest anyway enough rambling uh, we need to speak to where's he gone who was just here even there you go what are you wandering off to I've got to give you a reply Come here. Ah, Witcher. You've been busy. A training camp? We must train to fight effectively. Really think this band of warriors can accomplish something? Can a few stones turn into an avalanche? Can an entire city burn down from just one spark? No need to answer. We both know the truth. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Hmm. What are you preparing for? None of your concern, Witcher. But you're no fool. Think hard. Perhaps you'll figure it out. An uprising against humans? What if I inform the authorities? Correction. We aim to win the war we're fighting, not start an uprising. And worry about your informing on us? A non-human yourself? Humans will take you no more seriously than they do us. And even if they do listen, we are prepared. So well, in fact, that nothing can stop us. Vizima will burn soon. Yeah, I don't think so. Far away when it begins. Knowing you, we'll doubtless meet in battle. Question is, which side will you choose? My own. Naive as a child, you'll find it impossible to remain neutral in a war. Time will tell. Yes. I have Vivaldi's response. He sends words, not gold. I suspected as much. So my effort was in vain? Quite the contrary, Witcher. Vivaldi either will not or cannot help us. Crucial information regardless. Did he say why he refused? 
I suppose he advocates peaceful reform, struggle within the limits of the law. Vivaldi is an intelligent player. Do you really think he believes that possible? Imagine the Temerian gentry and King Foltest returning lands they took from us with fire and sword. Imagine them accepting non-humans as equals. Okay. Um, yes. So, we're not going to do this. Get got more work for me. I'll explain why in a moment. But you, you can hear his responses to the um, other things if you want. Your side. I feel a connection with other you freaks who can't on anything you say. So. Sarcasm is no protection against swords. You don't need to worry about basically saying, hey, look, I'm joining the other we'll team. See. Yes. But it's quite interesting. What are you preparing? None of your... Co and correct. I hope knowing... Yaven, I'm a witcher. I was created to protect humans from monsters, whether they have tentacles and scales or walk around on two feet giving lofty speeches. I must admit you amuse me, but I shan't mock you. I'll also refrain from correcting your reasoning. But think how the humans you protect treat you. Do they deserve your loyalty? That's my business, Yaven. Yes. Farewell. Okay, so that got more work for me. Starts up a quest. Uh, what's it called? Force Recon. And basically, you can pick up this quest from either Yavin or from Siegfried, and will basically determine which side of this war you're fighting with, the Skytel or the Order. Now, seeing as we've already made our move against the Skytel in Chapter Two, uh, it's basically established we are going to be joining with the Order. Plus, these guys are basically anarchists in sort of a way, and. They're a bit like the Stormcloaks in Skyrim, to an extent, you know, they're kind of racist, you know, I mean, humans are racist in this game, that's definitely something proven, but not all of them are, and you shouldn't massacre the lot of them just because some of the idiots. But anyway, um, we are going to do one more thing in this camp, but before we do, make sure we pick up some Fainwed, which you should have got from uh, one of the books that we read, I'm not quite sure which one it is. I'm going to talk to this one just called Skytel. Humans are intruders. We aim to win back our world. What do you mean? Some of our greatest died combating humans. First when your kind arrived in these lands, then recently when we again concluded we couldn't abide mankind's tyranny. Have you seen Fenuwed flowers? You couldn't find one because you can't distinguish it from common plants. Well, you're blinded by hatred. I've picked Fenuwed. Show me. I sense it will be something amusing. Well, you do know Fenoed. I thought wrongly about you. Don't apologize. Think. Not all humans are mindless barbarians. You do know Fenoed. Okay. You don't actually get anything from that. It's just a bit of extra conversation. So at this point, um, if you do want to join the Sky Tale, you speak to Yevin, pick up that other quest, and then. Uh, head on forward, but we aren't. We're going to go talk to Siegfried, who should be over this area here. So just set a marker. It's okay, I'm probably actually going to use the um, quest marker thing more often because I end up getting lost quite a lot in this game. There's something I've just not really been doing, but I don't see what any reason not to. Alright. Uh, that's right. Uh, run off as soon as the as the going gets tougher. Come here. Trap my pal. <laughs> Use the force. Okay. But yeah, this is basically the opposing camp. That's the non-human camp where we were just at. This will be the order camp. I believe they stay here for the rest of the game now, so you can't find Siegfried in the actual temple quarter. It's no biggie. We, I don't think we're actually going to be returning to Vizima uh, for the rest of this chapter now. We are basically within this week's worth of episodes, we'll be finishing up the chapter, I should think. Depending on how long it is. I don't know how long it is. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be wrapping up the side stuff today. Alright. Siegfried, me old buddy and chum. What are you gonna say? Oh, Geralt, by the eternal fire, it's good to see you. What happened? 
An Echinop's thorn pains me under my grieve. I fear I cannot walk. We were seeking the Golem burial ground. Some fool, may the eternal fire illuminate the darkness of his mind, was ranting on about mosquitoes and golems when the cursed plant shot me with its thorn. Ouch! You should get someone to dress that wound. No time for trivial matters. Elves and hawkers are dealing at the burial ground. My duty was to eliminate the hawkers and the Skyatel, chopping off all the Hydra's heads in one fell swoop. Guess the Hydra got a reprieve. It was a direct order from the Grand Master. Help me. I'll appoint you commander of my unit. I'm a witcher, not a soldier. I believe in you, Geralt. Nothing occurs without cause. The Eternal Fire has given you both honor and responsibility. Don't get excited, Siegfried. We truly need your assistance. All right. I'll lead your knights. I thank you. The elves and hawkers are meeting at the Golem burial ground. Strike forcefully with confidence. May the Eternal Fire lead you. It might not be a bad idea to imbibe one of your potions. Of course. And one more thing. Who are these hawkers? Rare criminals who supply weapons to the Skyatel. Their name derives from the elven word for ravenous greed. Heron Brock was a, was a uh, hawker, in case you didn't know. You want me to take command? Are you sure none of your knights will object? There's iron discipline in the ranks. Ugh! Damned Thorn! Why are you still here? I need to prepare. Hurry! Before they discover us! Alright. Okay. Chill. See ya. Alright, here we go. Uh, so, channel... Force Recon is our quest, so let's track it. Eternal fire fill my heart. The Order of the Flaming Rose always wins. What's this? Well, you do when you got me on your side. Just be glad I didn't join the Skytel. See, there they are, it's just across the road. No problem, I'll just cross the river. So good. Okay, let's so put our silver sword. It's nice that we went through so much trouble for, to go on with an island last time to get a new silver sword. And yet, we basically just seem to be fighting. Non humans. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wasn't too bad, didn't even need a potion. Um we, we spared a couple of guys as well. Mission accomplished. Return to base. Return to base. Return to base. Eternal fire fill my heart. Uh huh. Sure. Ooh, 50 orange. Very nice. Sure there's much else. Now nah, it looks like that's about it. Okay. Let's bring these boys back over to Siegfried. The mission has been a success. The Skyatel have been defeated. All is well, my friend. So I led your knights to the Golem Burial Ground. How did the battle end? Now it's an elven burial ground. <laughs> the knights fought well. There were no hawkers, though. The squirrels ambushed us. You'll be rewarded for your dedication. The order takes care of its friends. I don't doubt that. I'll prove it. I investigated those who attacked us in the sewers. And? They're quite interested in witches. Another appeared in Vizima before you. Berengar. Indeed. I determined he fell into Salamandra's hands. Be careful. They may want you as well. So Berengar is alive. This is getting interesting. Thank you, Siegfried. Friends need to help each other. All right. Cheers, buddy. See. Okay. 
That means we're done with that, and that's updated to the Baron guy, I think, as well. And we've got some new talent. That's awesome. So we'll get on that. Uh, next, we are going to head over to see old Gramps. Because uh, we're going to pick another quest over there. Um, and I think that's the last one we're actually going to pick up. I think all the rest of them, uh, ones that we've already got. Because I know after after we deal with this one over at Gramps' house, and then we deal with the monster problem for Yeren, then I'm fairly sure it's moving on to the the end missions. So you know uh, we'll be returned to the Druid village and getting that using our winding rod just to avoid all these guys. They're all good. Keep it in your pants. We have enough monster battles today in a mole. You guys can just retire, you know. Okay, it shouldn't be too far off now. The path that generally indicates there's a uh, civilization nearby, which is good. That's what we're after. The mark is getting pretty bright now. I don't get why they have all these bleeding. This is cutting us off from everything. No, 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 no. Where are we going here? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I was right, weren't it, civilization? I just decided to ignore it. Okay, we're not too far up anyway. Ah, da 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 da. Yep, yeah, I think it was just across the bridge actually, so. Oh well, just extending the gameplay, you know how it is. Should be pretty close by. Ah, yes, there it is. Grumps' place. Not seen him since we did the. Uh, the pilgrimage. Here we go. Solitary hut. Alright, there's Gramps. Got a bookcase. Uh, already read. We'll take it anyway. I can sell it. Bits and bombs. Nothing really too interesting. Tina Rose. Oh, hungry again. Bones. Brains. Gramps. This should be my home. Is that skull and brain human? Yes. And the meat? That too. Plates. A mug. That don't get agitated. Listen to my reasons. What reasons might a cannibal have? You look pale. Can't you eat something? Why do you eat human flesh? Well, I enjoy it. It has health-giving qualities, and it tastes like chicken. Pound of human flesh provides the equivalent of... Spare me. Well, you are hostile. Well, I, I do follow certain rules. For instance, I never consume children. Truly uh, praiseworthy. Wow. <laughs> no need for sarcasm. Well, occasionally I polish up a druid or a brickmaker, but I especially savor elf meat. It's aromatic, naturally infused with scents of roots and spices. What about dwarf meat? Oh, veiny and stringy. I, I believed I tasted it once, but in truth I'm unsure it was dwarf meat. And to my embarrassment, I was forced to fight a drowner for it. The bloody scrap that was my share had little to identify it. Enough. As you wish, I'll say no more. You don't deserve to live. Oh, you, you can always kill me, but I'm, I'm of greater use alive. I have vast knowledge and I know this swamp well. I could be of assistance to you. Like I believe you. You'll flee as soon as I leave. No, oh, I'm too old to run again. I'd not deceive you. You've come to the swamp on an important mission. Completing it must be of greater import than one old monster. And mark me, I hold answers to many questions. Yeah, no. I won't be swayed. Die, cannibal. It's actually, yeah, it's actually more beneficial if you do... Uh, kill him. And I think it's what Geralt would do. 
Uh, you do get a um, uh, what is it? A recipe for something, but you can just do it, get it later. Okay, now obviously I've, I've done as I said previously. I've done all this area before because um, of the fact that I got stuck around the um, Yaren bolt bit. Uh, these guys are tough, so we're going to take a swallow potion in advance. But I mean, we can practice our uh, new sword and gramps. Because he is human. Okay, and now... I'm going to need to go big on all these guys. Make your mind up on which one you're going to attack. So it can take quite a punch, can it? Just you. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely uh, tricky if you don't um, take a potion beforehand. I think I tried to do it and I basically it was near death and I hadn't even got through three of them. Just because of the sheer amount of them and they're all shooting thorns at you all at once so it's just best that you take a swallow potion beforehand and it saves you into a mess but there we go that's the uh, the cannibal dealt with obviously the request that we picked up and dealt with all in once so uh, we are going to hang on I want to go to journal uh, I'm just going to select the two ones uh, we're going to pick up a long way from home so check that one uh, I'm just not quite done yet. The slam uh, we can't do. Mysterious Towers main story can't do that. Um, quite the story. Quite the story. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to take us down in like the order of where we're supposed to do these monsters. Typically in order from where actual Yaren is. We're going to follow that because it's going to end up with us being closer to the Brickmaker's Village, which we need to do for the last part of this mission, so it's all good. Ignore that noise. I'm just missing my phone. Um, we've got about 10 minutes left. Well, not, not even that, really, but uh, if we can get this quest dealt with, it'll basically have covered everything I wanted to get done today anyway, so we might not finish the whole thing, it might just be the dealing with the monsters that we managed to get done, but who knows? Because obviously, remember, from this point on, I'm back in the blind spot again because uh, they never got to this part because the monsters didn't spawn in. Because they'd already killed all the uh, the lumberjacks. Because you know, I just had I had the nerve to quickly pop back over to Vizima to to dump off some supplies. You know, like the proper bastard that I am. There they are. See. Basically, when I came back, uh, just no one was here. Just came to the area, so. So, if you come back and there's no monsters, it's probably going to mean it's because um, the, the quest is either glitched or you failed it. I think they should be here regardless of what time of the day it is, so. These certain pockets of creatures out here, you'll know that you're uh, in trouble. 
we go. Okay, so it's very politely directed us to our next location. So well, let's go. Back up this path this time. Well, you can do them in any order that you want, really. It's just the the the, the game basically expects you to pick up the quest straight after uh, starting it. So it just takes you in that sort of general order, but it's all good. Ah, see, here we go. Oh, he's just drowners. Or oh, just a drowner. I know, it is multiple drowners. This shouldn't be a problem at all. There's some ekin ups over there. Let's, uh... Come on, you. Get with the times. Pity. There we go. No problem. Thank you. And finally, oh, that'll be the Echinops. Well, we just dealt with a lot of you anyway. It's no biggie. How dare you be getting Seagreed's thorns? Do I even know that I'm here? I don't think it does. All the better for us. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There's quite a few beasties. What else is there even? Is it just drown dead? Oh, we're at the Britmaker's village. Oh no, these are the clay pits, aren't they? Oh, right, okay. So, once we have dealt with all of those... Okay, uh, apparently we want to make sure that our heavy weapon slot is free. Um, so I'm going to drop this. I mean, it's not big if we don't really use it anyway. Why have you got your thing out? I oh, thought you don't need anything. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, we're going to go and see Vasca. Um, because uh, we there's there's one lo last set of monsters to deal with, but I'm not going to just yet because there's a more peaceful alternative which gives us more XP if we do it. So we'll do that instead. Come, come on, Geralt, work with me, buddy old pal. So go to Vasca's house. and see if we can't speak to her. The Water Lords and I! The tree fellers grow uneasy about the Vodianoi. Vodianoi? The Lumberjacks think the Water Lords threaten them. The Water Lords grant mercy to those who recognize the truth of their mission. The Woodcutters have naught to fear. I'll negotiate with them, but I'll need your help. The woodcutters should lay down their weapons as a sign of peace. Offer their leader's axe unto the water lords. Humble yourself before them. If the lords see no falsity in your heart, they will lift you up, and the woodcutters need fear no more. But first, you must last the night in a sign of humility. Okay. The water lords and I. How do I communicate with Vodianoi? We know little of the lords' language. We communicate through objects we conceal in the altar. We receive answers after a lord has visited. Where's the altar? By the oven. 
between the clay pits. Why do you worship the fish people? Speak with reverence about the lords. Sorry. We believe the world emerged from the waters which will engulf the world once more. The dry lands birthed all evil. The water lords are divine beings who have retained ancient wisdom. But beneath them lies the one god, the creator of all, the dweller of the deep, the one who will come in anger. What kind of god is he? A god above all gods. I cannot speak of him with the uninitiated. Why do you place items on the altar? You are not one of us. Contact the lords and acknowledge their power. Yes, I wish to believe. You can gain favor by placing plants on the altar as sacrifice. What else do you leave? Bruise and incense. When placed on the altar, our ill recover miraculously. What else? Avoid gifts unpleasing to the lords. All that harms life-giving waters. I'll be careful. All trappings of dry land signify resentment. Farewell. You shall be elevated and your foes vanquished. Okay. Uh, now we are over 30 minutes now, so I'm going to wrap up. Let's check through our journal first, though. We'll get to all that next time. Uh, so characters. Uh, that's just from redoing the episode. Don't worry about that. Uh, Yavin. So there we go. Uh, locations, I think that's the, not changed. That is that formula, maybe. Nope. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, so uh, check out if no, I don't want the inventory. Um, so it picked up that book again. Alright. Oh, I thought it might have had to sell it off, but it seems not. So have a look in our journal. So we'll go back to quests. Uh, so let's have a look at all of them. Uh, or not, you know, it's fine. Ah, okay. You can see all the ones we've got. Finished off those in gold and false recon. Uh, the cannibal. And the it's waiting gold. So, yeah, we're not doing too shabby. So, uh, in the next episode, we'll head back to Yaren and try and convince him to give up his axe, which we can place on the altar, and then finish up this long quest, and then start making our way into the end game, um, at least of chapter 3. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video, and I will see you guys in episode 29. Bye, guys. Okay.